Record. All right, day 271, another week in review. And what can I tell you? Nothing. I've done a lot of body paintings. You've seen a lot of them in my blogs, and I'm going to do another one right here. Everybody liked the way I did that Cheshire cat. So the thing is, I'm going to duplicate it on her, but instead of using the red and the blue, I'm going to be using pink and purple. And the way I did this is I outlined everything first. Okay. The first thing I did was I first started off with the mouth. And to do the mouth, you just use white first. And I'm going all of this off of memory. What I did was I actually did um, the whole thing on <coughs> off of a photo that I had gotten off of DeviantArt. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the muzzle effect using the edge of my flat and some white and do a really large mouth. Okay, then I'm going to come below the chin right just towards the bottom of it and I'm going to bring it up. So it creates this large mouth area. Just fill the area in, all the lips. Now for this, if you notice, I'm not using too much sponge. I'm going to be using mainly brush for this because I want to get a nice, even coat. And because there's going to be some details, it's going to be hard for me to really work with anything else. So. Don't worry if you, you know, make a mistake with the white and you make some areas too large. You're going to go over with the darker color so you don't have to worry about that. So, after I fill in that area white, make sure they don't have lip gloss on or anything. The rest that'll never stick. Alright, now I'm going to go for the detail part and a darker color which I'm going to use. Pink. I'm going to use this nice bright, bright pink, because we know how she likes pink. She's a happy girl. She likes pink. And because I have certain points that I want to make on it, I'm going to start off with a dot there and a dot halfway down the nose. Meaning, this to this area is going to be painted. Now, I'm also going to put a dot here and a dot here. These are points where I'm actually going to be making um, you'll see. <laughs> Let me just start off with the widow's peak. Okay. Now this whole area in here which I kind of filled in a little bit that'll be dark purple. Yes, your face is going to be dark purple. So, these points here, I'm going to take and connect down to that point in the nose. Okay? I'm also going to do a dot here and a dot here. I'm going to connect and then go straight up into the hairline. Okay, and that creates that effect that I did, that neat little pattern on the forehead. Now, look up. From the corner of the eye, I'm going to bring it out and down to just where that mouth line is. Okay, do the same thing on the other side. Out and down. Go back and check and, you know, if it's not even, try to make them as even as possible. And then from the corner of the eye, I'm going to bring it out and down. So it makes that kind of a shape. Okay. 
Now I'm going to fill all these in. So I'm going to pick up my pink. Now of course I keep walking across the camera. I'm going to just start filling in these areas. Because I want this to look really good, instead of using a sponge, I'm going to be doing fine details with the brush so that it really pops out. And that is my coffee maker in the background. Coffee. Mmm. Donuts. Mmm. In fact, I still got donuts. Look up for me again. I'm going to just line the eye and fill in that part. Now, if you're wondering what type of paint I'm using, this is fab paint. Yes, fab paint. This stuff is awesome. If you notice, I did this whole area without having to go back into the pink at all. But I did have to go back into the pink. Because I got to do two other things I forgot. First of all, I want to do the nose. Just a little bit up underneath. You're not going to take it down. It's just like a regular cat nose. Okay? And then where the eyes are, I'm going to do sort of like a reverse teardrop. Okay? Now the rest is all fine. This is where I come in. And I take my dark purple. Mix it in with a little bit of light purple. And now I gotta do the eyes. Because if you noticed, I had like a maroon and a red and then the blue on the other one. This one's gonna have a light purple and then it's gonna be dark all around it. She's gonna have a great time washing this off. <laughs> so, go from the corner of the eye, bring it out and up into the hairline and down. So you're making a nice cat eye effect. Exaggerate out and bring it out onto the nose a little bit. Just fill that whole part in. Do the same to the other side. Try to match it up as much as possible. Now don't even start asking, I'm not doing the body, I'm just doing the face, okay? <clears throat> if you guys want to know how I did the body, this brush right here, nice big fat brush, did a whole bunch of great stripes with it, that's it. So quit asking. Alright. Now if you're wondering about the brush I'm using, it's still my number six, my favorite. Simply Simmons, you can get it online. I'll see if I can post a link on there to where you can get them for less than $2.71 a piece. Yes, I got a lot of these brushes. <laughs> I picked up a lot. I ordered a lot of them. I'm hoping during this video I get my, uh, my door knocked on, waiting on all my photo equipment to come in my backdrops, my lighting, my strobe, my this, my that, my everything. So first I outline everything that I did 
And this allows me to get those fine details done. Allows me to define it a little bit better. And to make sure my points come out really nice. Outline those teardrops. So pretty much all you're doing right now is you're just outlining everything. La -de -da -de -da. I hate quietness. I would put on music, but you know, YouTube is only going to have a problem and say that I'm using third party music and that there's a copyright infringement. So, if anybody wants to, you know, help me out with supplying some background music for my videos, I'd greatly appreciate it. Hint, hint. I know music sometimes takes away from the actual tutorial, but sometimes some great background ambient music is good. Isn't she looking beautiful? <laughs> kids are going to think when she goes home like this. Mommy, what happened to you and when can I get my face painted? Mm -hmm. Alright, so now that I've outlined everything, with this small brush, I'm going to go in and I'm going to try to fill in all the smaller detail parts that I need to fill in. And try to make it as even as possible. Sometimes trying to take shortcuts just doesn't come out right and it can make the face look really bad. So you want to take your time with it, you know, if you want to make it look good. Alright, now I'm going to go to my one and a half, or my half inch, one stroke. See? Okay. I'm going to pick up that nice dark purple. That I was using. And I'm going to start filling in the rest. Make sure you get it right up into the hairline because you don't want to make a mask out of your face painting. You want it to blend into her hairline so it looks more natural. As if this face would look natural on a person. <laughs> What I usually do is, when I'm using a flat like this, I always go right close to the color that I want. That way when I pull off, it kind of blends in that little bit there. So it doesn't leave a line. You go 
can also go on top of the other line, especially when you're trying to fill in a nice large area. So it kind of blends it in. I always like to draw my brush out. It'll be nice today and not paint her ears. Yeah. <laughs> Real careful around the nose. And make sure you get it right on the edge. Oh, sorry. I was in front of the camera. Let me try that again. Be careful right around the nose. Make sure you get it right on the edge. Sometimes I don't pay attention to the camera in front of me. I just stand in its way. I know, I know. As Nick would say, shut up and paint. I am Nick, I am. Now yes, this is not a quick three to five minute design. It's a little bit longer than that. Yes, painting your brush back and forth like this does help because it actually does get rid of some of the streaks that you get when you normally use a brush. It's called feathering. Okay, so now our face is all purple with some pink. Let me grab my coffee real quick. All right. detail. I'm still using my tag black that I have, but as you can see, I've used quite a bit in the past week and a half. Alright, so we're back after the camera cut off on me. Huh. Still gotta work out the kinks. Alright, close your eyes. I know you're crying. Stop it. You know, it's not that bad. So if you have somebody cry, is what you can do is you can take just a regular tissue, close your eyes, and you just lightly blot it right into the corners where you see a little bit of seepage. Tell them to keep their eyes closed, but gently. You don't want them to close their eyes heavily. If they close their eyes heavily, it'll start to water more. So after you've done that, then you, you, know, you continue with the lining of the eyes. You know, get a nice little cat eye going there. Same thing with the corner. Make a nice little cat eye. Wisp on the outside. Cat eye on the inside. And then for the brow, I actually just, the uh, eyebrow, I just took a line and I followed the purple all the way to the hairline. But where the brow usually starts? Now for the teeth part,
this one, it was kind of just jagged teeth, really big. We can just make the lines as best as possible. Kind of make these canines a little bit more curved though, so it makes it look a little bit more wicked. Okay. Now going from here, it's going to be real easy because you just do a zigzag all the way up. And you do the same thing to the other side. Just like so. to outline this mouth and I did it from the middle of the nose you know making the muzzle tight follow it up and around towards the corner of the eye do the same to the other side black and we're going to outline the bottoms. So you're just going to take it boom just like so. Now you can always add more character to this. You can add a few more things whatever you want to do. Um, this is pretty much how I did it all. Now I did take a little bit of brown and a little bit of yellow and kind of washed it out. So use your hand, you can do this as a wash. What you're doing is you're just removing some of the excess. So you're just getting what you need. And it's what I did is I went on the back side of all the teeth. create kind of a shadow effect. So you get that. Now, the other thing I did was I took the red, but I'm taking pink because that's the lighter parts in there. And I made whisker marks. Okay. Almost complete. I took a little bit of white and I did my accents and then I was done. So, let me go ahead and just do these quick little accents.
added a few more to this one than I did in the last one. But you know, this gives you room to improve, to make different. So, now that I'm done, I would show her in a mirror, but I forgot it downstairs. So, <laughs> I'm going to have her just sit there as I try to... I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess is what I'm going to say is, she's just going to have to wait until I'm done with my video to take a look at her face. But this is pretty much what I did to create that Cheshire cat face. So if you want to try your own rendition, post a video response showing what you did. Uh, post some pictures on um, uh, Facebook and YouTube and share them on my page. Don't tag me in them. Share them on my page. You can do that. And that way I can take a look and see. And if you want some constructive criticism, just put CC in you know, the little note area or in a comment. Um, but this is my Cheshire Cat. I hope you enjoyed watching me paint one of my favorite things, um, Heidi. <laughs> her kids are great too, and so is her husband. Um, but that is my video for today, my week in review. Um, just trying to think of anything else. I already told you about the, you know, uh, oh, Capital Convention is coming up. They have a new location for, um, their whole convention, so that's going to be a better place. I'll put the links down below in my blog. Um, so just follow the link if you're watching this on YouTube. Follow the link to my blog. Take a look down there. You'll see pictures of this face, which I will take today. You'll also see those links. Go to those links, and you'll be able to um, go to my other blog entries where you can see my Cheshire Cat, which... Unfortunately, the guy I have that does some editing in the UK isn't able to do it right now. Um, computer problems and stuff like that, but hopefully um, I'll see what I can do or I'll see if I can find somebody else to do some editing. But uh, he does a really great job. You've seen it on the blue cat that I've done and everything else. But okay, enough talking. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't. I'll talk to you guys next week or in the next tutorial that I do. See you later, guys. Bye.